I am now going to demonstrate the endospore stain. The endospore stain is a different type of differential stain. At the end of this stain, you will be able to, through a microscope, differentiate between a vegetative or living cell and an endospore. Due to the nature of the endospore, this stain requires an additional step that we do not see in many of the other stains. This step is called steaming. To begin our staining process, we must begin with a smear that has been heat fixed. This was, pr this was completed before the video began. The first step of the endospore stain requires the addition of the primary stain, malachite green. The second step of the endospore stain is a decolorization step. In this procedure, we will use water as our decolorizer instead of ethanol. Ethanol is too harsh to use for the endospore stain. Our third and final stain is the counter stain safranin. To begin our procedure, I am going to get a small piece of bibulous paper. and place this on top of the area that I have previously smeared and heat fixed. I then place the heat fixed slide and the bibulous paper on top of the steaming hot plate. The malachite green is applied to the paper and the slide while the steam is allowed to penetrate This must be allowed to sit on the hot plate for five minutes. During the five minutes that this slide is on the hot plate, the steam will soften the walls of the endospore, allowing the malachite green to enter the spores. The cells will also turn green during this five minutes. Once the five minutes is up, while being very careful, you can take your slide off of the hot plate. I find the best procedure is to use the test tube tongs to slide the slide out of the steam and grab the slide. It is very important at this point to let your slide cool off before you grab the slide with your hand. Once your slide has cooled enough to touch, you then will remove your bibulous paper. Throw it in the garbage can, not down the sink. That is the end of step one of the endospore stain. I am now going to apply my step two decolorizer, the water, in the same fashion that I did with my decolorizer in the gram stain. I will apply the decolorizer above the stained area, allowing the water to run down the slide. I allow this to happen until I no longer see any green running down my slide. I am now ready for my final step, the counter stain. I apply the safranin on top of my smear. This is allowed to sit for one minute. Once one minute has passed, now my vegetative cells would be pink. Shake off any excess, grab the bibulous paper to dry. My slide is now ready to be viewed under the microscope. At this point, the vegetative cells will appear pink and the endospores will appear green.